But let's get straight into it. If this morning you finally woke up from a coma, well, you might want to go back. The most stunning upset in political history. It's Trump. Donald Trump will be the next president of the United States. <laughs> you know, no matter how many times I hear that, it still doesn't seem real. Yeah. It still doesn't feel real. I mean, look at the, this. This is the newspaper today. Look at that. Look at that. It looks... It, he can't hear you. It's a newspaper. It doesn't matter. <laughs> like, it looks like a joke from April Fool's, you know? And even then, people are like, that's not a funny joke, man. <laughs> this, this entire result is it's sort of like Trump's hair. I know it's real, <laughs> but my mind can't accept it. It just... You know, because it, it looks like he's wearing his hair backward. <laughs> like, everything... Everything is backward. I mean, I don't understand half of this. Hillary Clinton lost by getting more votes. <laughs> no, seriously. Yeah. She lost by getting more votes. Trump got 200,000 fewer votes, but he won the presidency because he had 279 electoral votes. Because that's how it works in America. You don't need the most votes. You just need the electoral college. So once again, Donald Trump benefits from a bull college. <laughs> and, and by the way, and by the way, I'm not saying it's bull because I'm sour or anything. I'm just quoting the president, sorry, the president-elect who said it himself. Yeah, there you have it. Donald Trump calling it corrupt. And we did it. We, went, we just went through his tweets. And I'm sorry, Donald, that's what happens when you get a new job. People dig through your tweets. <laughs> I genuinely cannot believe this has happened. Even the Trumps can't believe that this happened. This was them last night watching the results. Look at those faces. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> Look at that man. That is the face of a man whose bluff has been called and he's only holding a two. <laughs> and now that face will be the face that represents America to the world. That is the face that will address the nation after a tragedy. That is the face that will command the most powerful military in the world. Washington, Lincoln, Roosevelt, Kennedy, Reagan, Obama, and now Trump. One of these things is not like the other. <laughs> and if you're thinking it's Obama because he's black, you probably voted for Trump. <laughs> Donald Trump, however, did give a victory speech last night, and like most terrible things in your life, it happened at 3 a.m. on the streets of New York. I've just received a call from Secretary Clinton, and I congratulated her and her family on a very, very hard-fought campaign. <laughs> Hillary has worked very long and very hard over a long period of time. And we owe her a major debt of gratitude for her service to our country. I mean that very sincerely. Oh, say what you want about Trump. His reading has really improved. <laughs> yeah, a lot more presidential. And I'm, I'm gonna be honest right now. I was genuinely surprised by the tone of this entire speech. Trump was gracious. He was humble, he was compassionate. I'll tell you now, if that guy ran for president, he also would have lost to Donald Trump. <laughs> with how vitriolic this election has been and with how much trash Trump has talked, I was genuinely expecting his speech to sound more like this. <laughs> how would you like to suck my butt? That's what I was waiting for. That is what I was waiting for. But I, I, was, I was honestly surprised. Uh, Donald Trump came out, and he was really great. And I think what we need to do now is try and look on the bright side. You know, since Trump won the election, no one can deny that he has been a phenomenal president-elect. Right? It's been a great 19 hours. <laughs> In fact, I say we use this opportunity to start over with Trump. We should try. Let's wipe the slate clean and start with zero days that President Trump <laughs> has gone without an incident. <laughs> and now... One day without an incident. Huh? Huh? One day. Yay! One day, people. Now it's only 1,459 days to go! <laughs> but look, um, even though so much of yesterday felt like bad news, it wasn't a total buzzkill. Marijuana was a big winner last night. Massachusetts approved measures to legalize recreational pot. Four states did pass laws that let adults smoke marijuana for fun. 
oh my god, people are smoking marijuana for fun. <laughs> for fun, as opposed to people who smoke it for work. Oh, <laughs> for fun. Yo, uh, real quick, can I just say right now, America is the most gangster country in the world. Do you know how weird it is to me that while you're voting for president, there's also a question on the ballot about weed? <laughs> this is like someone's in there like, yes, I'm voting for Donald Trump, and also, yeah, I'd like some weed. Mm -hmm, I'd like some weed. <laughs> yes, I do, yes, I do. I will say, though, it's a great way to get young people to the polls. They should do that all the time. Add a party question to every vote. <laughs> yes. How do you feel about Brexit? And also, shots. <laughs> and if there's one guy in America who could use a hit right now, it's soon to be former President Barack Obama. Because, uh, you know what they say, when they go low, we get high. <laughs> I had a chance to talk to President-elect Trump last night, uh, about 3.30 in the morning, I think it was to congratulate him on winning the election. And I had a chance to invite him to come to the White House tomorrow uh, to talk about making sure that there is a successful transition between our presidencies. That's when I knew it was real. That is the moment when I was like, oh, this is real. I also think that'll be the first time Donald Trump knows it's real. Hey there, thanks for subscribing to our new YouTube channel. Uh, you're probably thinking, but I didn't. I know, which is fine, but now you're thinking about subscribing. You should really just subscribe. Just do it. Subscribe. Who said that? Subscribe. Who's saying these things? Subscribe now. What?